Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fanged One's Horizon Forbidden West Let's Play series. I am the Fanged One with you as always. And this is episode 21. So, as you guys can see, and for those of you who were with us last week, remember I had mentioned that I'm going to just I'm going to keep playing and record the next episode. So here we are. Uh, Aloy got a cannon from a uh, Tremor Tusk, I believe they were called. Which was basically a giant machine version of a mammoth. Now before we get started, I do want to say, I think that the devs lost sight of something in making the cool machines. See, the machines in this game served a purpose. And you could tell what their purpose was if you paid a close enough attention. The the machines with the antlers and the horns were designed to turn soil to help to help with the soil acidity levels in the soil the snap maws were meant to clear the water the glint hawks were meant to clear the body of dead machines for recycling the storm bird was meant to clear the skies and detoxify the atmosphere scrappers were meant to do the same thing glint hawk glint hawks did but on the ground <laughs> and then you had sawtooths ravagers stalkers and thunder jaws these were all designed by hephaestus and released basically to kill humanity you could tell that if you paid attention to the machines what they were doing and how they looked but so far the machines that we've seen so far, the new additions, don't seem to have a purpose in the grand scheme of the terraforming system. It's almost as if the devs just decided to make cool machines, cool animal machines, but without actually thinking about what their purpose was. Because what in the fuck is the purpose of the giant mammoth? What the hell does it do? Or the, the snake, for that matter. Now, you could say that the snake was meant to take any parts that were too big for the glint hawk and the scrapper, melt them down into a more pliable size so the glint hawks and the scrappers could do what they do. Hence them going after the big chunks of metal and using the uh, acid to melt them, basically. So I, I kind of get that. But the mammoth, like, it's not as if, it's not as if you could use it for logging, because I suppose the tusks, the tusks could be used to turn soil in larger, like, curbs, like hills and things like that, that a normal, okay, maybe, maybe. Anyway, let's go. Expose the power cell. It's working. It's exploding. This isn't going to work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you. Huh? 
run. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. Mm -hmm. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Oh? Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. You just made an enemy, though, Aloy. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera. The chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the court. Good. I think you made a friend, Aloy. We may need another miracle there as well. And considering how big the challenge for this has gotten, if go I'm there. right, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. We will take the fight to Regala, Outlander. We will take the fight to Regala. Yeah, you got, you got no choice now, huh? That's the uh, that's the fighting pit. You, Outlander. Any fucking shards is what I need. I'm still not fully sure how to get fucking... Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, this probably needs a fire, one for fire.
not stone walls. Okay, can't really do much right now. Can you bell regard? Leave him alone. Oh wait, wrong way. brother will make it. What's going on here? The wall breaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Hmm. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I got it. Oh, no, of course not. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier. I'm coming, I'm coming. The Outlander has shown us. The Outlander has shown us. You must join the team. You're brave. Ah, she who shakes the mound gets... Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble? I, I was just... At ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotella showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower. One we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed. But those soldiers are serving no one out there. He if, sent however, them to die. they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them. Especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Dakota another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. All right, we got one more quest hiding around here somewhere. what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a But road is a strong word. Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her when <sighs> she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. 
telling you she flew. Yeah, I'm not uh I'm not riding a stormbird, thanks. Damn, my shots are way off. Is this the watchtower? Oh, oh, here's the, here's the start of the coin, though. Climbing trail Jekka talked about must be nearby. I should check up on her brother while I'm here. Picked up. There's I would be interested in this. Most to knock look wounded. What happened? That person looks like they're in charge. Well, breaker. If you've come to witness the March of the Ten, you're out of luck. Actually, I came looking for someone called Pento. Pento? That poor scab was as good as dead even before the storm hit. You're out of line, soldier. What's he talking about? The kid you're looking for is still up on the mountain, along with two others. Pento was the only one who decided to break tradition and climb without a partner. His odds aren't good. I'm sorry to say they never were to begin with. As far as being Tanak goes, he's got most of it backwards. Mm. So what? You're all just waiting here? Shouldn't you be calling for help? Couldn't find anyone in that storm, even if we wanted to. Those kids are at the mercy of the mountain now. We'll see about that. But first, a couple of questions. Why is everyone so sure this Pental can't climb that mountain? Our people are soldiers. We respect strength and agility. Pento has neither. Never has. He's been stuck on cleaning duty since he was a child. 
Yet he decided to undergo our clan's most difficult trial on his own. And you think he's crazy for trying? I'm not a fan of that word. When I chose to wear a woman's armor, people called me crazy too. I guess Pento just feels like he has to prove himself. Show who he really is. I understand. Believe me. But that climb is hard enough, even without a storm. Okay. So, as somebody who has somebody sitting next to him, who is in the alphabet mafia, as people tend to say, um, let me go ahead and say that I kind of understand the problem that a lot of the anti-alphabet soup people, alphabet soup. I kind of get it now. Because that person was sexually ambigu ambiguitous. That's the word I was looking for. That person was sexually ambiguitous. Ambi ambiguitous? Is that the word? I think so. Yeah. So anyway, there was no need to pretty much force down the player's throats that there is a transsexual individual in this game. There was no need for it. You can tell just by looking at the individual that they were, uh, you know, sexually fluid. Can't tell if that's a male or a female character. They're kind of masculine and feminine at the same time. Like, that's all you needed. You didn't need to include the line about people called me crazy for wearing a woman's armor. You didn't need that. All you're doing is forcing your bullshit agenda down your player's throat. And unfortunately, that belief can get you canceled. I don't care if it gets me canceled. I don't give a shit. I have no problem with it. I am totally okay with this character being in this game. You can come out, like, you can come out with the fact that Aloy tends to put off all the men because she's into Petra and I wouldn't give a shit. Who Aloy decides to love is between Aloy and whoever the fuck she chooses. However, I have a problem with you forcing things, forcing a square peg into a round hole and just expecting it to fit because you say so. Like, there was no need for that comment. What is this march you mentioned? This is one of the toughest slopes in Sky Clan territory. It's said that the Ten climbed this mountain in pairs during their war against machines. Our people partner up to earn their soldiers' marks by following in the Old One's footsteps and retrieving the Blood Crest, a flower that grows on the summit. Until Pento, that is. He insisted on climbing on his own. You mean no one wanted to climb up with him? I tried to stop him, but there were technically no rules against it, so I let him pass. That sounds familiar. The Nora have a similar ritual. No one wanted me in that one either. Their mistake, I presume. Yep. Yeah. I fucking love that. Their mistake, I presume. I could yeah. try following the path up the mountain. See if I can find Pentaw. You said there were two other climbers missing as well? Just one. The other is right there. Zika! Rocco and I, we were climbing back down. There was an avalanche where we got separated. I couldn't see anything. Someone's gotta go up there. You can barely see your own feet in that storm. Except I don't need to. I'll be back. I mean, with the focus, yeah? If the storm gets too rough, I can always use my focus to find those climbers. I should follow the markers. They'll lead me to the start. Oh, no, it seems quieter when it snows.
God, this looks like our entire fucking state yesterday. Or day before yesterday. Fell off the goddamn mountain just now. That is a goddamn... Whoever you are, thanks for the assist. Okay. Whoever you are, thanks for the assist. I hate the fact that I can't see this motherfucker. Okay? Not really, but I'll live. 
Your climbing partner, she said you got separated during an avalanche? My partner? Yeah. The avalanche caught us off guard. Swept me up like a twig. I was sure I was a goner. Then someone grabbed hold of me and pulled me out. It was Pentaw. He risked his life for me. Did you see where he went? Up that cliff behind you. Said he was gonna finish the climb. I told him it was suicide, but he wouldn't listen. Can you make it back down on your own? Yes. You're not going after him, are you? Mm -hmm. Go. Get back to Wakata before the storm gets any worse. May the ten be with you. I have to find Penta before he gets himself killed. I should use my focus to pick up Pinto's trail. Those must be Pinto's tracks. Let's hope I can catch up to him. It looks like the avalanche destroyed most of the climbing path. The missing soldier must have climbed up this way. God damn, I, I, I gotta admit, for a non-warrior type, like, he's doing a pretty good job. Here. The path must have collapsed after him. Maybe I can glide across. Yeah, that did not go well. Pento's tracks again. Get out of my way. Let's hope that's Pento. And who the fuck else is up here? Looks like he could use some help. Who's there? A friend! Penta? Do I know you? Wakata sent me. We need to get off this mountain, now. No. 
I'm not going back there as a failure. I am getting that flower no matter what. Look, I know what it's like when your tribe looks down on you, but you... Then you understand why I'm either going to get to the top of this mountain or die on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, she does. What are you doing? This climb is meant to be done by two people, right? I'll be your partner. I'll follow your lead. Want this? Looks like the trail carries on here. No? I'll just leave. You know my name, but I don't think I've caught yours. It's Aloy. You sure you want to involve yourself with the full work's biggest loser, Aloy? I like to make my own judgments about people. You, need it. you know, it's not like everyone can be born. What was that? I don't know. Maybe it's just the wind. I hope so. It's a dead end. There's a climbing spike left over from the original path. Not that it's of much use right now. Sorry. Move. That was amazing. I'll knock this tree down. <sighs> Gotta take a breather. Hodgins is in agony. Still can't get a signal. Fed drones are doing flyovers. Hopefully these trees will give us some cover. We're gonna need to keep climbing. Told Hodges he better not give up on me. As incentive, I made him a bet, a thousand dollars against his precious wayfarers in the championship tonight. They're 30 point favorites. So all he has to do is make it to the top and he can lord it over me for the rest of his life. That ought to keep him going. Okay. It should let us reach the climbing path. You won't hear me complaining. <laughs> We should be able to jump onto that climbing path from the tree. That's some climbing gear you've got. Thanks. It's time to start climbing. That doesn't sound like any storm wind I've ever heard. Almost there. That is not a cat. This is it? I can't believe we actually made it. Let's get to that side. Definitely something behind this wall. We can handle this. Come on.
Um, what the shit? This dude just like body slammed me. Now I wonder if I can just fire at you. Oh no, this motherfucker can't follow me. This thing is so fast. Basically a machine polar bear. Come on. Come on. This way, Aloy. Wait up.
store. All right, kid. There you go. It's easing up. So, how does it feel to make rank? Pretty great, actually. This... This means everything to me. You know, even if you go back with that, it doesn't mean they'll treat you any different. Honestly, I think... I just need to prove to myself I could do this. You should go back. Let the others know I'm okay. I'd like to take a moment, if you don't mind. Sorry about that, guys. I'll be right behind you. Of course. Thank you. I can probably reach the bottom yeah. of the trail faster if I use my shield wing. If anybody was going to understand why he, why he needed to do this, it would be Aloy. considering her own story. Well, I really went up the hard way, didn't I? It's no joke. I seriously went up the damn hard way. Uh... And I probably missed a, uh... I probably missed a... Repel point. That's the word I was looking for. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Uh, lots. Considering we had what amounts to... Ooh, hold on. I have a goddamn glider. fact that I had a glider. We should be reaching the bottom of the trail soon. Pento can't be far behind. There's everyone. Aloy, do you have any news? Please. I need to know Aloy. Return alone. Where is he? He's my brother. You can't go crying like that, Jekka. You're the sister of a proper soldier now. Bento! Ow! I bring you the blood crest as proof of my march. And with my blessing, you join our ranks. May you find your path on the wings of the ten. You've got to be kidding me! 
him? A soldier? Please. Flower or no flower, we all know all he'll ever be good for is cleaning everyone's shit. Oh. I think we're done here. Better put some snow on that, or it'll bruise. Thanks for saving my life. Maybe when I get my old soldier's mark, we can fight in the same squad. Give me a chance to return the favor. Is this snow again? He's cute. Go on. I'll catch up. Here. Something to commemorate our climb. May the Ten always grant you victory, Aloy. I'll see you around, Pento. A soldier's march. All right, guys. So that's actually going to do it for us for episode uh, 21. I will see you guys in a couple of days for the next one, where we will do the next side quest and then get on to the cool route. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Later.